Hi guys, this is Yin from Craftivity. Today, I'm doing some formulation at home, but I was thinking, okay, while I'm doing it, I might as well share with you some tips on how to mix xanthan gum. Over here, I have my xanthan gum. I've already weighed it out. This is the scale that I'm using. I love this scale. When taking out xanthan gum, I love using these spoons because when you pick it up, it's so easy. These powdered spoons, they come in sets of three. I love this. Cannot formulate without these spoons. Because the other spoons are very thick and these ones, are, they come really thin and nice. And to pick up powder, it's really cool. Now, over here, as you can see, there's a liquid here. This is glycerin. I've already uh, measured it out at 8% or 8 grams. And... Uh, what happens is, if you mix xanthan gum, and xanthan gum is a thickener. It's a natural thickener that is used to thicken lotions, creams, um, serums, formulations that need thickeners. You can use xanthan gum. But the tricky thing about xanthan gum is that when you mix it with water, it tends to clump up very fast. And then it causes fish eye, which is balls of xanthan gum. So what you do is you want to create a slurry first, a slurry of xanthan gum mixed with glycerin. And this will help disperse the xanthan gum so that it doesn't clump up before adding your water. So right here, I'm going to add my xanthan gum to my glycerin. You could use glycerin, you could use propylene glycol. So that's it. And I want to get the exact measurements. I'm using a muffin paper cup, <laughs> but it works. I also have those glass um, glass dishes for powder. They come very handy and they don't hold on to anything. Now, all I do is I mix it in. So this is called a slurry. And it helps to disperse the xanthan gum. You can see it's still clumping up. But slowly, with a bit of agitation, you will get to a really smooth gum slurry. Now, if you use a spatula like this, a silicone spatula, you can really break it down. And you can press it down. So that's a, that's a question that lots of people ask. Like, why is my xanthan gum not dispersing well? Why is it clumping up in water when you mix? Xanthan gum, when it touches water, it's supposed to uh, swell up and it's supposed to thicken your formulations. But if you don't get rid of the fish eyes or the little clumps, that's going to be a huge problem at your in your end product. So this is my xanthan gum. So I'm just going to slur it down. So here you can see it's all mixed well. You get a homogeneous slurry. And now, you're good to add water. So I hope you learned something today on how to mix xanthan gum. It can be tricky if you don't use this slurry technique. So try this at home and let me know how it works for you. Remember, glycerin and xanthan gum mix into a slurry before you add your water. Thank you guys. Happy crafting. Can be 